Hi everyone, this is going to be Intelloj from Pakistan and you're watching my YouTube channel Insani Iftihar which aims to invoke a little bit of humanity in all of us through awareness and understanding. So today the topic that I'm going to touch upon is in regards to a, a verdict which was given by an Israeli magistrate court uh, and this is uh, in regards to this one guy who went to Temple Mount or Haram al Sharif, where the Doom of Rock and Al Aqsa is located. This guy and few of his friends were there and they were silently, or shall I say, the court verdict also says, whispered the Jewish prayer and while they were visiting the Temple Mount compound. So the Israeli police, not Palestinian, Israeli police took this guy to this magisterial court uh, for accusing him to violation, violating the uh, protocol of uh, conduct by a Jewish uh, visitor at the compound. Now, a lot of Palestinians accuse the Israeli state of apartheid. They're actually very right. The Israeli state is actually a apartheid state for the Jewish Israelis because it bars them and does not allow them the rights to prayer at Haram al-Sharif, which is the Temple Mount. And it is against the basic violation of freedom of religion. So I do agree with the Palestinian people that Israel is a perfect state because, because it discriminates the uh, Jewish worshippers at Temple Mount and it allows the you know status quo and, and allows the, the status quo and, and the status quo of Al-Aqsa which is under Jordanian control, not Palestinian, by the way. And the Palestinians have no issue whatsoever as Jordan is their Muslim brother. So a uh, Christian can go at Temple Mount and pray there. Their Christian belief, they can pray there. Muslims can go. They can pray there loudly, whatever, whatever. Christian can also go there and pray loudly as as ever they want but this discrimination is only for the jewish worshippers that they cannot even pray in whispering as in like in, in in their hearts so they i mean thank god thank god the muslim palestinians allow the poor jews to actually visit the you know haram al sharif and temple mount i mean if they would have barred them i mean that was also okay because obviously apartheid is only for the jewish uh, people it cannot be for the non-Jews, either Christian, Muslim, or Hindus. And on top of that, the um, Waqf administrator and also the public security minister, which is, a, again, an Israeli Jewish minister in the Israeli uh, Knesset, a member of Knesset, Labour Party. And he threatened... He, along with the sheikh, who is the uh, waqf administrator uh, of that compound, threatened and warned that there would be violent um, violence in in this after this verdict, and there was also a protest held by the Palestinians on uh, on on Friday, uh, probably after the Juma prayers. So they were there. Uh, and peacefully they were, you know, protesting, but they won in that peaceful march, they and the sheikh who controls the waqf and the waqf administrator, he threatened that there will be violence consequences for this sort of verdicts. And this person who was barred to enter uh, into the um, Al-Aqsa, oh sorry, in the Haram al-Sharif, the compound where Al-Aqsa and Dome of the Rock is located. He was barred by the Israeli uh, police to enter into that compound. Um, and the verdict of the magistrate actually um, lifted that bar of, you know, from that person. And now he can visit the, you know, Temple Mount and can pray um, in his heart. Uh, without even whispering so that the dear old Palestinian Muslims don't get offended. So we, we, you know, Palestinians are so nice, they just get offended when, you know, Jewish people go there and pray. And 
I think yesterday or night before uh, yesterday, I was hearing this Palestinian uh, activist. He is, by, by the way, a Armenian Christian Palestinian. So he was saying that give Israel should, I mean, out of the con context, this is out of the context, but he was actually demanding from Israel that Israel is apartheid and Israel should give equal rights to the Palestinian Christians and Muslims right now. It should give citizenship and equal rights and right of return right now. So I demand from this person who is called um, Malkoon, he is a regular at Sulha. First, when you say they give us all the rights right now, try this. Will the Palestinian Muslims give the Jewish worshippers right to pray at Temple Mount or Haram or Sharif right now? If they had this big of a heart that they would allow prayers right now at Temple Mount and at Haram al Sharif, I'm sure Israel will give all of you the equal rights and right of return right now. Think about it. <laughs>